I came here from Pakistan when I was three years old. And when I came here to Canada, I had a big sister and I had a baby sister. My baby sister, she was just a baby. But my big sister, I'm going to call her Rabina, and she was in grade one. One day, Rabina came running home from school, waving a piece of paper, and she said, Ami, Ami, I've been invited to a birthday party. There's going to be gates of toys, cake, and ice cream. Can I go? Can I go? And I was only three years old, and I heard that. And I thought, games and toys? I want to go, too. So I started screaming, I want to go, too! I want to go, too! I want to go, too! Go too. And Rabina said, I can't take Rixana. She's not invited. And my mom said, What's a birthday party? Because we never did that in Pakistan. And Rabina said, it's when they celebrate the day they were born. And my mom said, why do they do that? They just do. Can I go? There's going to be games and toys, cake and ice cream. And I heard that again, and I started screaming. I want to go too! I want to go too! I want to go too! And Rabina said, I can't take Roxana. She's not invited. And my mom said, why not? Because in Pakistan, if you invite one kid, you have to invite the whole family. And Rabina said, but they don't do that here. Here, only the kid is supposed to go. And my mom said, well, that's not fair. You call, up your little, you call up your friend and you ask her if you can bring your little sister, Roxana, or else you can't go. And Rabina said, no, I mean, please. They're going to laugh at me. They'll never invite me to another party again. She begged and pleaded, but my mom wouldn't listen. So Rabina had to call up her friend. And she said, can I bring my little sister, Roxana? And her friend said, OK. So I got to go to the party. Now the day of the party came. I was more excited than Rabina. We went. There were games and toys, cake and ice cream. And on the way home, that nice lady, she handed out those little bags. What are they called? Loop, loop bags. Loop bags. Let's say that together. Loop, loop bags. So I opened up my loop bag to see what there was inside. <gasps> and there were some chocolates and some candies. And there was a ruby ring. And there was a whistle. And there was a big, big red lollipop. lollipop. You know the kind you can look through and everything looks red? Well, on the way home, in the car, I ate mine up. Mm, it was so good. Cherry, my favorite. But Rabina, she saved hers for later. Now, by the time it was time to go to bed that night, all my chocolates and candies were all gone. The ruby in my ring was missing, and my whistle was broken. I had nothing left, but Rabina still had her big red lollipop. She stuck it in a paper plate, and she put on the top shelf of the fridge to have in the morning. Now, the next morning was Saturday. Guess who woke up first? Me. Me, right. And the first thing I did was I went and I turned on the TV to watch some cartoons. Then I went to the fridge to see what there was to eat. And what do I see? The big red lollipop. And I thought, ooh, it's not mine. I shouldn't. I shouldn't, I shouldn't, I shouldn't. I won't. I grabbed an apple. At least it was red, too. And I went and I sat down and I ate my apple. But that's not what I really wanted. All I could think of was that big red lollipop. And I thought, let me just go back and look at it again. That's not going to hurt, right? So I went back and I looked at it again. Oh, it looks so good. Cherry, my favorite. And I thought, no, I shouldn't, I shouldn't, I shouldn't. It's not mine. I won't. I went back and I sat down to watch cartoons. And I really, really tried to watch cartoons. But a funny thing happened. Bugs Bunny started looking like a big red lollipop. And Porky Pig started looking like a big red lollipop. All I could think of was that big red lollipop. And I thought, let me just go back and look at it again. That's not going to hurt, right? So I went back and I looked at it again. And this time, I saw something. I don't know how I missed it. You know, lollipops are supposed to be round. Well, Rabina's lollipop wasn't perfectly round. There was a bump on the side. It was huge. It was that big. Can you guys see that? It was that big. And I thought, wait a minute. They gave Rabina a bumpy lollipop. It's defective. I should fix it for her. I should make it nice and smooth. She's not going to want a bumpy lollipop. And maybe I'll just eat that bump, because it doesn't belong there anyways. But I won't eat any more. So I grabbed hold of that bump. And I squeezed and I pushed. But you know how hard those lollipops are. That bump wouldn't budge, so I had to grab a little bit more. And I squeezed and I pushed. And finally, the bump broke off. But unfortunately, the rest of the lollipop shattered it into a million pieces. And all that was left was a triangle stuck to the stick. And I thought, oh no, I broke Rabina's lollipop. What am I going to do? She's going to hit me. And then I heard a teeny tiny little voice in my head. Do you guys ever hear a teeny tiny little voice in your head? Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, so do I. And sometimes it tells me to do things. 
and sometimes it tells me to do naughty things. It sounds like this. Roxana, it knows my name. And it said to me, Roxana, you know, you're already in so much trouble. Rabina's already going to hit you. You might as well eat that bump you broke off. It didn't belong there anyways. And I thought, well, yeah, that's true. That bump didn't belong there. I might as well. So I, gr I found the bump. And I ate it. Oh, it was so good. Cherry, my favorite. And then the voice said, Roxana, you know, there's so many pieces of lollipop in that plate. Rabina's not going to know if you take another piece. You're already in so much trouble. You might as well make it worthwhile. And I thought, well, yeah, that's true. There's so many pieces of lollipop in that plate. Rabina's not going to know if I take another one. I might as well. So I took another piece. Oh, it was so good. Cherry, my favorite. And then the voice said, Roxana, go ahead, have another. So I took another piece, and another piece, and another piece. Uh-oh, now there are only six pieces of lollipop left in that plate, and I thought, oh, no. Rabina's going to know that those six pieces of lollipop don't add up to her big red lollipop. She's going to know that not only did I break it, I ate some of her. Big red lollipop. I thought, oh no, now she's really going to hit me. I thought I couldn't get into any more trouble. Now I'm in even more trouble. And then I remembered something my mom always told me. Did your mom ever tell you this? My mom used to always say, Roxana, if you see a mess lying on the floor, don't wait for me to tell you to clean it up. Do a good deed. Clean it up without being told. Did your mom ever tell you that? Yeah. yeah. My mom said, if you see some bits of paper lying on the floor or some piece of crayon, do something nice. Clean them up without being told. And you know what I thought? Those six pieces of lollipop in that plate. They look kind of messy. I thought maybe I'll just clean those up too. Then I promise I won't eat any more. So I ate those six pieces too. Now all that was left was that triangle stuck to the stick. And that's when I thought, uh-uh, no siree. That's Rabina's and I'm not touching it. And you know what? I felt very proud of myself. I thought, good girl, you didn't eat the triangle. And I went and I sat down to watch cartoons. And no matter how much I wanted that triangle too, because I wanted it too, I thought, nope, that's Rabina's and I'm not touching it. Pretty soon, guess who woke up? Rabina. Rabina, right, and I went to hide. But I was only three years old. And there was only one place I used to always hide. Whenever we played hide and go seek, I used to always hide in the front door closet because you can go behind the coats and boots. It looks like you're not even there. So I went and I hid and I heard Rabina come out. And the first thing she did was she went to the fridge to check on her big, big red lollipop that wasn't so big anymore. And I heard the fridge door open. It went creak and I listened and I listened. And at first, I heard silence, not a sound. Then I heard something I had never heard before in my life. I heard Rabina roar <laughs> like a bull. I was scared. I never heard a roar before. And she came stomping right to that closet. She knew I was hiding because that's where I always hid. And she threw open the closet door. And she pushed aside the coats and boots. And she looked at me like this. <laughs> <laughs> and she said, very quietly, she said, I'm going to hit you. And the chase began through the living room, the dining room, kitchen. Run around, run around, faster, faster, faster. Me yelling at the top of my lungs. I'm yummy, help, help. I'm yummy, help. And my mom came out of the bedroom and she was rubbing her eyes and she said, what's going on out here? And I ran behind her and I said, Rabina's trying to hit me. <laughs> and Rabina had to stop in front of my mom. And my mom looked at her like this and she said, are you trying to hit your little sister again? And Rabina said, she ate my lollipop. The greedy thing, she ate it, she ate it, she ate it. And I thought, ooh, I hope I don't get into trouble. But my mom just looked at her like this and she said, for shame. It's just a lollipop. Can't you share with your little sister? And I thought, yes, I'm not going to get in trouble. But poor Rabina, she looks so sad. I felt sorry for her. So you know what I did? I ran to the fridge and I brought her the triangle. I said, look, look, I need all of it. I left the triangle for you. And my mom said, see, Roxana didn't eat all of your lollipop. Look at that. She left the triangle for you. <laughs> She's sharing with you. Go ahead, take the triangle. So Rabina had to take the triangle. And my mom said, go ahead, eat the triangle. But Rabina was so 
mad. Before she had a big red lollipop. Now she just had a skimpy little triangle. So you know what she did? She took that skimpy little triangle and she threw it as hard as she could across the room and it skittered under the sofa. And I thought, okay, she doesn't want that either. So I went under the sofa, I washed it up and I ate that too. Now, I washed it, okay, I washed it. Now poor Rabina, you know what the saddest thing was? All her friends at school, they warned each other. They said, don't invite Rabina to your birthday party because if you do, she's gonna bring her bratty little sister Roxana with her, so don't invite her. So she didn't get any birthday invitations for a really long time. Let's all say, oh. Aww. Now, you know what happened? Time passed. And I grew up a little bit. And you know who else grew up a little bit? Rubina. Yeah, Rubina did, but so did my baby sister, Mariam. She grew up a little bit too. Remember I told you I have a baby sister? Well, she grew up a little bit too. And if I was a brat, and I'll admit it, I was a brat, my baby sister, Mariam, she was a monster brat. All she had to do was squeak and she got what she wanted. Oh, it was disgusting. I couldn't wait to go to school just to get away from my baby sister, Mariam. Now one day, when I was in kindergarten, I came running home from school, waving a piece of paper, and I said, Ami, Ami, I've been invited to a birthday party. There's gonna be games and toys, cake and ice cream. Can I go, can I go? And my bratty little sister, Mariam, she started screaming. I wanna go too, I wanna go too, I wanna go too. I, wanna go too. I said, I can't take her, she's not invited. And my mom said, well, it's only fair. You got to go to Rabina's friend's party. Now she's going to get to go to your friend's party. I said, no, mommy, please. They're going to laugh at me. They'll never invite me to another party again. I begged and pleaded, but my mom wouldn't listen. And all that time that I was begging and pleading, Rabina was standing on the side, and she was just watching. And you know what she did? She came up to my mom, and she tapped her on the shoulder. She said, I'm me. And my mom said, what? She said, don't make Roxana take baby Mariam to that birthday party. And my mom said, no. And she said, no, don't make her take her. And my mom said, okay. So I didn't have to take baby Mariam. I got to go to the party all by myself. There were games and toys, cake and ice cream. And on the way home, that nice lady, she handed out those little bags. What are they called? Loot bags. <laughs> loot bags. And I opened up my loot bag to see what there was inside. And I was really, really hoping there'd be a Big red lollipop. But there was no big, big red, red lollipop. But there was a big green lollipop in there. <laughs> oh, it looks so good. Lemon lime, my favorite. But I thought, no, I shouldn't. I shouldn't, I shouldn't, I shouldn't. I took that big green lollipop home, and before I could change my mind, I marched right up to Rubina's room, and I knocked on the door. And Rubina opened the door and said, what do you want? And I said, here. This is for you. And after that, we were friends. The end. <laughs>